to another video as you can see I'm in my kitchen and that's because we're going to do another cooking video and as you read by the title yes yes I'm going to be making tacos so before we go into the cooking please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos Let's go. Guys, as you can see, these are all my ingredients I'm going to be using for our tacos. The first essential ingredient is our mini wraps. We bought them in Asda, they come in eight. Yep, that's what we're going to use for our tacos. You can also buy the shells, but they are better if you just make them by yourself. And I will show you how to do that. We have odd spicy sauce. We have lemon. Three tomatoes and half onion because that's what we are going to use for our spicy sauce we have our spices which are already mixed and these are the ones we used we use ground ginger chili powder we use cumin paprika oregano black pepper curry powder and we're going to be using salt because that's one of our main essential ingredients when cooking I have another half of onions and two cloves of garlic. I have our grounded meat. I have my vegetables, which are two yellow peppers, two red and two green yellow peppers. Then over here, I have our seafood sticks, which are already cooked. And that's what we're going to use for our salad. I have lettuce, I have sweet corn, I have cucumber, and I have lettuce but already prepared cuts so yeah guys now we are going to start by cutting our peppers and i will get back to you guys and as you can see i forgot to tell you but my sister abigail <laughs> she's going to join me in the cooking because she wants to help me so yeah we're going to start with the cutting of our peppers and as you can see we already have the fry pan with a little bit of oil in it so we're going to cut our peppers and after that we're going to on the fry pan so it can be getting hot and we'll put the peppers inside the fry pan. Okay guys, so this is how we're going to be cutting our red peppers. You want to cut them long. And then you can just have them and cut them into squares. And now we've got our red peppers and we're just basically going to do the same thing you cut them long you turn them and you just cut them into smaller pieces because you don't want them to be chunky guys so this is how it looks it looks colorful and beautifully sliced i suggest you should slice uh, you should buy on the three colors of peppers so it has like a variety and the tacos can look nicer as now over here we have we have our fry pan and i've added just a little bit of oil because we are going to fry our peppers and then when you see that they are a little bit soft then that's when you will add your ground meat so we'll get back to you guys when the oil is hot They are starting to catch color and they are getting softer so while this is still getting soft and cooked or fried we are going to come over here and as you can see I have sliced tomatoes and sliced onion which of course has been, has been washed and we are just going to mix your half onions and your three tomatoes it's depending on the quantity you want of course you can always add more tomatoes or more onions we're going to take some parsley which i forgot to mention earlier and you're just going to add a little bit and you're going to take a little bit of salt as well and you're going to mix it mix the salt the parsley and because it's our spicy sauce 
we are going to use our spicy pepper sauce and we are going to just add a little bit this is what's going to make the tacos spicy apart from the ground meat so we're just going to add just a little bit up to your taste depending on how spicy you want it to be in this house we eat a lot of spicy food so I also like my food to be spicy we're going to mix that and we're going to cut half of the lemon and we are going to squeeze that like it was the first time do you remember can I take you there back to this is the final result of our spicy mixture we're going to keep this aside but you can see why my sister is adding it I'm just going to separate it mix everything together we're going to keep this for 5 to 10 minutes to continue frying I can't get you out of my mind Okay guys, so I filter the water and now it's frying. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to it. And we're going to mix that and Abigail will help me add the onions and two cloves of garlic which we sliced. You want to also slice here, yeah, you can add it. You want to slice your garlic in little, in a, um, in a small, tiny size so it can be easily dissolved within the fridge. Thank you, Abby. So, we are going to keep this for another five minutes and then we'll add our spices so we just we are going to start with our salad and we just have the lettuce I removed the bottom as well you want to remove anything that, is, that has brown on it and this is how we're going to slice it we to slice it that way and we explain how to go that's how you want it and this you are going to turn it and you're going to also slice it again but into smaller pieces you're going to group them again and you're going to slice it all over again because for those who don't know how tacos work you need three bases we have our main meat which is already cooking we have our spicy sauce which will be on the top of our meat and we have the salad which we go at the bottom before our meat and our normal salad we'll just use to accompany our tacos so once we are done with that we're just going to add it into the bowl so i've sliced and done slicing our lettuce you're just going to on your tap and wash it you want to remove all that dirtiness from it and we are going to filter it at the end with a filter. Five minutes has passed and now Abby is going to add the spices and we are going to mix them. Because you want that red color in your tacos, that red brownish color. As you can see, the ground meat is catching color and it's smelling delicious. I can smell the, all the varieties of spices that we added. my salad with the ingredients as you can see sweet corn pep, um, cucumber and the lettuce and then i have my seafood 
and then I have this one which will be the lettuce that I sliced which will be for the base this is our final result as you can see it looks delicious it smells mm. delicious I can perceive the aroma from here <laughs> and also we already have our spicy mixture I'm going to show you how to do our wraps you're going to take one but first of all you're going to take um, olive oil yeah, sorry and you're going to add just a little bit in a flat plate and you're going to spray it all through around the plate because as you all know when you bite them it's really crunchy and that's what we want but we don't have the taco shells but we're going to do them ourselves so after you finish spread the oil you are going to take the wrap and you're just going to rub it around you don't want to put too much oil and you're going to take it to the microwave and you're just going to add it there you can add it with the plate if you want you're going to put it in medium because you don't want it to be too hot and you're going to put it in less than a minute we don't have like between minutes but you're just going to for 30 seconds you will keep it for 30 seconds and once you touch it that is hot and soft you're going to transfer it to the oven as you can see our oven is pre being preheated and I put it between 150 and 200 and I put it to be lightened in both sides so the heat can come from both sides okay so this is how it looks it's soft it's also hot you don't want it to let too hot this now will transfer it to the oven but let me do the rest of the tacos and I will get back to you. you see that there's no more oil in the plate you also add you continue adding more oil because you want them to be shiny and crunchy and the oil that's what the oil is going to help us with okay guys so now we are going to transfer the tacos to the oven you just have to fold them and you put them between two racks or two lines that's what's going to make it into the taco form and we're just going to press and then the thing will go into shape you put them you always keep one space between them so they don't join yes so which means we have to do it this way so that it won't stick together yes. isn't it yes. okay. so we're four yes four okay and then the last one okay we are making in the second round okay we are making five because we are five in numbers to put the tacos in the oven for six minutes as you can see you don't want it to be too burnt you don't want it to be too soft so six minutes is the perfect time so as you can see i'm just going to start and the timer is going on once the six minutes is done we'll take the tacos out and you also love the oven because you don't because of the preheated you don't want it to burn too quick so i i think 150 is okay for that for six minutes so the six minutes has gone and as you can see this is our shape of tacos or well wraps but as you can see the six minutes it's not too brown it's just in the perfect color it's not burnt it's not joint as well so now i'm going to teach you how to join the tacos so you take your taco shell you take the lettuce that we sliced earlier and you just put a little bit inside then that's how it looks so now you take a little bit of meat and you put it inside you see it's hot just a little bit it's looking delicious then you take your spicy sauce that we did and you put a little bit a little bit goes a long way especially if it's really really spicy you just put a little bit on top and you put it in the plate just like that and then you take a little bit of salad and you put it as the side yeah. that's how it looks as you can see i'm going to make one of my sisters to test it it looks good if you want to do guacamole you can also do guacamole i will drop it in the description box how to do guacamole we don't eat guacamole in this house so i didn't do it but i 
can see through as well. And yeah, guys, that's my tacos. Hello, guys, this is the finishing of the taco. And we have Abby here to tell us how it looks like and how it tastes. Um, how does it taste? Mm, it tastes good. It's crunchy and I like it. That is good. So what do you say to all mommy's friends? What do you rate me? What do you rate me? From 1 to 10. 10. Yeah. That is good. <laughs> So what do you say to all my supporters out there? Um, please subscribe, like, and hit that bell. Okay. And comment down below, guys. Okay. Okay, guys, as you can see, everybody's happy with the tacos. My sister gave it 10 out of 10. That means I'm a chef. I'm learning from my mom. So guys, first of all, before we end this video, if you want to learn how to cook anything or you have any business inquiries make sure the make sure you go and contact my mom at tbisyoma at gmail.com it will be also in the description below all the ingredients all the procedure about the tacos will be also in the description below make sure you like comment and subscribe and please if you are trying these tacos drop in the comment section how was the tacos and how you felt about it hopefully you like it and see you in the next video bye